Hi, this is a review I've been looking forward to for quite a long while. It's the Imperial Guard Valkyrie. Okay, on the front we can see the artwork of the model. Very nice. And there's some more pictures on the back. So here we've got the uh, different designs. So we've got like the almost like the sort of design you see on an A10. This is the cockpit open. And we can see the Aquila on the wings. Okay, let's get this open. these screws okay so the first one we can see we've got the engine fans there's the back of the engines must be part of the cockpit I'd imagine engines For the pilot, I'm not quite sure what this is. There must be the yeah, the cockpits, cockpit chairs. Okay, now I'd imagine this is part of the hull. Missile pods, rocket pods. It's probably, yeah, the front of the cockpit. It must be the cargo ramp. There must be the wings. Got some missiles. We have the option of the missiles or the rocket pods. This is the first time out of the box. Um, a lot of parts here. Okay, this must be the side of the hull. Now oh, this is a this is a big kit. I'm really looking forward to building this. Just seeing what it looks like and painting it up. Okay, we've got the stand. And then we've got the transparent cockpits. I imagine with this model it's going to be a case of painting some of it, assembling some of it and then painting some more. Almost like with the Sentinel. You know, I'd, I want to have as much detail in as possible. I want to have the pilots painted up. I don't want it to be half half. Okay, here we've got our transfers. No data to choose from. I'm probably just going to paint on the details. Um, and here's the instructions. The 
this is going to take me absolute hours. It's going to be well worth it. Okay. I'm going to get some assembled, some painted up. And uh, continue the video. Okay, I've now assembled this kit. I can say this, this kit is absolutely amazing. Just the quality, the way the components go together. Um, it, they just clonk together so, you know, well, the tool making is brilliant. Compared to what, you know, like the old Rhino kit was, the old Land Raider kit was in the 80s and 90s. They've come along such a long way. Okay. So I haven't got a canopy on yet, reason being I've got to paint these two fellas here. Uh, but it's just amazing, I've gone for the uh, rockets and the last cannon. Okay, I have painted, well, painted black the interior. Let's open up the door. I won't pick up on the camera, but there is detail in here which you can actually um, paint up. It's also got some sliding doors at the side. Just show you those. And just get this camera into focus. See, so these just slide back on and forwards nicely. Also comes with the stand, which is great. And that will actually come off the stand and it will actually stand quite nicely as well because of the um, um, undercarriage on the plane. So I'll get this guy painted up and um, I'm probably just going to go for the basic Cadian green colours. Um, I do fancy quite putting an Aquila on the top but uh, I think it might be a bit too... Um, It would be a bit difficult for my skills. Um, we'll see. Or maybe even something like the um, kind of like the A10 type nose cone type thing with the snarling teeth or something. Anyway, I'll get this guy painted up and we'll have a further look. Okay, I've now finished painting up the Valkyrie. I've gone for the traditional Cadian colours. Really pleased with this model. Pilot and co-pilot painted up as well. Yeah, it's probably my favourite of the Imperial Guard models so far. 